Apple's iPhone line has a long history of confusing Android fans. With that, we mean that the new iPhone specifications do not usually appear too impressive on paper. They always have processors with fewer cores and lower clock speeds than the latest flagship Android products, and they generally also have less RAM. Despite the advantage that Android phones have always had on paper, iPhones have crushed absolutely all Android-powered rivals in real-life speed tests and benchmark tests. In fact, iPhone models of the previous generation tend to surpass the new Android phones in these tests, so far as the competition of Apple iPhones. Until now, Android phone makers and key component suppliers such as Qualcomm have made great strides last year. Combine that with the problems of RAM management and other performance issues in EOS 11, and a change of guard has taken place that continues to surprise us all. The latest Apple iPhones continue to have an advantage in some key areas. For example, no Android phone on the planet ever touches the iPhone 8 or the iPhone X in terms of the performance of the single-core processor. But multiple Android flagships have managed to surpass Apple's iPhone in some important reference tests like M22. In addition, several recent Android phones have surpassed the iPhone 8 and iPhone X speed tests in the real world, something we never thought would happen. Going back to the M22 benchmark test, a score reached by a next Android phone has completely erased the latest Apple iPhones. The iPhone 8 and iPhone X were among the first phones in the world to score more than 200,000 in the popular and 2-2 test, and we have seen their scores go up to almost 230,000. That's impressive, of course, but it's nothing compared to the next Huawei Mate 20. 